Previously on War on the Sea, Centrifugal Offensive. Between the 29th and 30th of March 1942, the enemy has been noticeable by their absence. No further direct attempts were made to land troops on Makassar to reinforce their marines fighting in this area. This will allow our ground troops to crush the last vestiges of the enemy's assault force. We have seen the first action for the air crews of our newest aircraft carrier. They have been engaged in a number of strikes against the enemy's merchant shipping, sinking a number of merchant ships including oilers, troop ships and the Raw of Hindi auxiliary cruiser. Our merchant fleet is still working hard. Moving supplies to Balikpapan to improve the port facilities there, which will allow resupply and refueling of our surface fleet. As the enemy builds up their strength for their next assault, we must do likewise and plan our next strike at their bases on Java. Hi everyone, welcome back to War on the Sea. Here we are, Centrifugal Offensive, 1st of April 1942. It's just gone 8pm, um, so all our search planes are returning to base nothing more to report um thank you for pointing out yes um the the fuel fuel um oiler did not actually pick up the fuel we dropped off the fuel so we've now gone back picked up the fuel we're now heading to like papan to um upgrade that uh port to a level three port and in the meantime uh the weekly points have ticked over We've scored 42 for the um, bases and the territories that we've already claimed. And uh, one of the Miyoko class cruisers has been recovered and repaired and reset type thing. So if you have a look at Tarakan, um, we can start spending some points. Now we were going to have a look at heavy cruisers, weren't we? So the Mi Miyoko class cruiser, we had the Haguru, didn't we? Um, let me just double check some things. She doesn't have surface or air radar, which is not great. The uh, Takayo class heavy cruiser does have air radar. So does the Tone class. Uh, the Tone is 28 points. What's her armament like? Um, main guns, 20 centimeter number eight caliber eight inch the takayao has um 10 guns at eight inch okay well let's get the takayao then let's get the jokai is the only one available so we'll get that as the flagship and i think maybe we will get the mayoku class hagiru get her back into service so she's literally been rested, repaired, bringing back into the fleet. And then we need a couple of destroyers to keep um, to keep them safe. So we probably want something which is quite capable. Does any of these have any... The sonar all looks relatively similar. Uh, the Fabuki tends to be, has always served me quite well. So. Yeah, let's get the um, Murakumo. Um, get you. We'll get a couple of them so we can try out the different um, types. So there we go. We've got the uh, Chokai uh, heavy cruiser, the Haguru heavy cruiser, the Marakumu destroyer, and the Atasuki destroyer for 71 points per chase. Right, let's get them down and we'll, we'll marry them up actually with our. Through the cover of darkness they can sail and they can merge up with the aircraft carriers and then we've got a quite a sizable force down here which we can bombard and support with the fighters from the two aircraft carriers and at four o'clock on the 4th of april well oh, things are starting to happen now we have made much one has made it back to balak papan so we can have um a look at sorting out this cargo um, so we can drop the cargo off drop the supplies off so they got plenty of supplies drop the fuel off we've got plenty of fuel 
get some more engineering there as well. Excellent, right. So finally, Balik Papan. We can upgrade the port to a level three port. Perfect. Right, with Merch 1, um, do we continue to try and redevelop um, Balik Papan? Because this would be a good little um, base, wouldn't it? Get the airfields marked up here as well. Um, so yeah, probably. So let's get the Merch 1 fleet. There we go, finally. Let's get them heading north. Up to here. Oh, you may have noticed, yeah, all those ghost aircraft have come out again. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. We're kind of ignoring it for the moment. So, um, Merch 1 will head up there. Uh, now that Balak Papan is level 3 port, so uh, aircraft carriers and destroyers and heavy cruisers can rearm and refuel there. 9.35 on the 6th of April. Um, one of our aircraft... Oh, here we go. This is a bit more like it. Two Corvettes escorting an oiler. Um, maybe a small oiler or another merchant ship and a, a large merchant ship there. This is definitely worth marking and sending the uh, the forces in to try and sink. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we have the three destroyers not a million miles away from here, so... I might get some airstrikes coming in, and then maybe we'll finish off with the uh, destroyers coming in. At 11.30, our torpedo bombers have arrived in the vicinity, and good news! That beep tells me we've spotted the targets. There they are. Fantastic. So, primary targets, the oiler and the large merchant. Secondary is the smaller merchant, and if we've got anything left, We'll leave them firing at the Corvette Escorts. Okay, here we go. This first wave coming in, I believe, for the oil tanker. It is in the water. Okay, a couple of our bombers have been shot down. One of them's crashed into the uh, smaller merchant. Torpedoes incoming on this tanker. Three good hits. A minimum of three good hits. I don't know if any more hit. Maybe four. She looks dead. Another hit on the smaller merchant. More aircraft coming in. Hit on the merchant as well. Another strike on the merchant. He's making a manu evasive maneuvers so the other torpedoes have missed. Uh, however, he's got a sporting chance of hitting the um, Corvette behind. Here's the Corvette and there's two torpedoes swimming. Or oh, she may just go between them both or get caught by one. I'm not sure. This is going to be close. Oh, it's gone straight under her, look. Straight under her. After that attack, we've got one very badly damaged tanker. Heavily armed tanker as well. Um, the small merchant ship has gone. And the other merchant ship is damaged and heavily listed. Okay, this is the flight going for the tanker. You can see the other one heading in for the merchant ship. They're making their approach now. Still heavily listing smoke billowing up from midshifts to the stern. Torpedo's gone. Hopefully that should be curtains for that ship. Two 
Two good hits, one sneaks by, and she's gone. Torpedo's gone, and running true. The almost stricken oil tanker about to see a little bit, oh I can just hear a splash of an enemy shooting down one of our torpedo bombers, more to all three torpedoes strike and that is the oil tanker done. So mission accomplished, all three merchant ships sent to the bottom, sadly with the loss of a few of our air crews. Confirmation then, 24 aircraft attacked, we lost 4 brave air crews and aircraft, but we sunk the uh, small freighter for 1120 tons, the oiler for 7300 tons and the merchant ship for 4620 tons. 13,040 tons in total, the allies should feel that bitter sting. 5 minutes later one of our Recon aircraft has come under attack. Well, they've come under attack by um, seaplanes. They're like PBYs. Um, you can see our tail gun has managed to get a shot into that one. And it's smoking. But I think we can probably just outrun these now. But um, yeah, interesting one. We're low to the water and getting out of dodge. Oh, look who it isn't. Five minutes later, the PBYs that we saw um, from the, the reconnaissance aircraft are actually coming to have a go at my anti submarine task group. Uh, they've seen them right there, splitting and doing evasive maneuvers. These three seem to be centering on that um, PTB, uh, PT boat over there. Meantime, there is another one, the one that's been damaged, she's actually coming in as well. Tight manoeuvres, just while they are about to drop, and hopefully they will drop there, and then we will turn tightly to port. Oh yeah, let's go to starboard. Torpedo's dropped. Thankfully, our speed saved us there. Meantime, patrol boat 35 is also coming under attack from that singular aircraft. Hopefully we can do the same kind of trick and then... So this boat does not have the same speed of maneuverability as the destroyer, yet we have just avoided it. Fantastic. Confirmation then. Um, we still have the spotting aircraft in the vicinity. Um, the number 35 and number 33 patrol boats had already been damaged by defending the, um, the aircraft carrier, if you call a couple of... Um, episodes ago, uh, but our destroyer is absolutely fine. Thankfully, they were all able to uh, dodge the torpedoes dropped by the BBYs. At quarter past four in the afternoon, um, it looks like our anti submarine patrol is coming under further enemy aircraft attacks. Oh, we've got, is that Martin bombers? Flat bombers? Uh, these tend to be unrealistically accurate, so let's start the maneuvers. Lots of anti aircraft fire coming up. Ships are doing evasive maneuvers now. Second flight going for our destroyer. Splashing down all around. Oh, they've hit our patrol boat though. At 20 past one, our Val dive bombers have spotted the. Um, oh, hello. There's an oiler. There's another. Maybe two oilers or large things? Oh, okay. I only thought we only spotted a, um, a small shipment out here. I didn't realise there were so many ships. Okay, okay. 
They are about to commence their attack. Flight split evenly between the oiler and the large merchant. We'll begin the attack very soon. Evasive maneuvers being carried out. First wing dropping, second wing dropping. Here we go. Good hits, more hits on the oiler. Merchant ship is also burning. Heavy anti aircraft fire, though. So, one and two aircraft lost, but two great prizes an oil tanker and a large merchant ship. Possibly a troop ship, in fact. Uh, so, this may be on the way to uh, Makassar to drop more enemy troops onto the ground there so if that is the case then knocking these two ships out is going to be a huge huge boost in morale for our defenders of Makassar. Confirmation then the merchant ship was sunk for 13,529 tons I believe that was a troop ship and the oiler was sunk for 9,500 tons two command points gained for that we lost two aircraft during that attack. As the early morning light rises on the 8th of April 1942, it's 7.15 in the morning and one of our spotter planes is flying up early and she's reporting a large convoy being spotted. They turn away as we spot. Oh, it's a... Oh no, I thought it was a carrier for the moment. It's two large merchant ships. Looks like a troop ship, a landing ship almost, and a merchant ship plus an oiler and a couple of escorts yeah oh my goodness from a distance that looked like a, a carrier but we'll get those reported in that is a juicy looking convoy for sure 40 minutes later we've got Val dive bombers in the area there they are right let's start hunting these ships right first Val's coming in I think that might be another Brora Pindi class uh, auxiliary cruiser, you know. Uh, we're going in to uh, attack. We've also got Anz from Banjamasin attacking. shot down as they're going for the tanker hits on the tanker more hits on this class of ship another hit on the tanker more waves or near misses on the war pindi whatever it is anti-aircraft guns blazing away meanwhile here come the ans the light bombers with small bombs, but um, they are going for the tanker. Um, I don't think we've done enough damage to sink either of these ships. Hopefully the fires will catch on and get worse, but um, I fear they might be okay. Ah, oh, the ants sadly missed their target. Confirmation then. 24 aircraft attacked. One was shot down. Uh, we got critical damage and heavy flooding on what I think is the Royal Pindi class ship. Minor damage and minor flooding on that destroy uh, on the oiler. At 9:23. The torpedo and dive bombers from the aircraft carriers are once again attacking this convoy. We're going for the oiler and the auxiliary cruiser as our primary targets. The torpedo's gone. Second flight coming in for the auxiliary cruiser. Ooh, close anti-aircraft fire explosions. 
Going straight over this Corvette, which could be a problem. Torpedo's gone. Oh, the tanker is turning, but she still gets one. Two torpedo strikes against her. The auxiliary cruiser in the background. She looks dead in the water, so we could get three good hits here. One good, to a dud. Two hits, okay. That might be enough for the auxiliary cruiser, you know. Meanwhile, the valves are in position, starting to make their run. These ones attacking the auxiliary cruiser by the looks of it. We're about to have a collision between the Corvette oh, and the tanker. I've nicely avoided. Dive bombers coming in on this target. That Corvette may want to get out of the area. She may be in the line of area damage here. Oh, yes. And there goes the tanker, and I think the auxiliary cruiser's already gone. We got fires on the uh, Corvette as well. But the bombs still come. So, confirmation then. 26 aircraft attacked from the aircraft carriers. Val dive bombers and uh, Kate torpedo bombers. They were able to sink the well, the auxiliary cruiser stroke merchant for 16,738 tonnes and the oil tanker for 9,514 tonnes and we also claimed the corvette sunk for 735 tonnes just getting too close to our target but we'll take it. So as 9.35 rolls around on the 8th of April 1942 um, we're kind of just holding station yes we seem to have a flood of reconnaissance aircraft out now thanks to some I don't know what's going on, um, but there we go. That's all well and good. Merch One has made it back up to uh, Tarakan, where we have 24,400 troops. I think I'm just going to start moving them down to Balik Papan, uh, or maybe to Banjamasin. We've got 7,000 there, 5,000 there. Uh, may well move them down to here. Um, We've got 500 supplies there. We need 3,000. What have we got there? We've got 800 there. So that's 1,800. Uh, sorry, that's um, 1,300. That's 1,700. Oh, that's 2,000. Ah, we might just be have enough supplies to get this to a level 4 airfield. Uh, and what I'll do is start transferring the troops here. So when we start to make our move on Java, we're just resupplying troops from Banjamasin. Uh, we've got 33 command points. That will be the other um, heavy cruiser being released. We've got the light cruiser Jinsu and the number 31 patrol boat still under repairs, which will be coming out in the next nine and seven days, respectively. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll certainly start to get some more ships. Obviously, we're going to concentrate on the, some troop ships and some merchant ships so we can start moving supplies around. We need to get our uh, merchant infrastructure in place again so we can ship all supplies and troops to the front line and then we can possibly with our task group, heavy cruisers and carriers, I may only send one carrier with them to give them fighter support, but go in and uh, bombard the areas and drop off troops. Um, it's going to be risky, but it may be what we need to do. So that's the plan going forward. Um, losses today. It's been relatively light. Um, we haven't lost. We've only lost aircraft today. So our lost um, aircraft is 168 now. Uh, I-123, which we lost last time when we saw the, the cruiser and the... Um, destroyer entangled due to her presence uh, she got some maneuver kills there but um, yeah that was the last loss we had 
On the other hand, the enemy has taken a bit of a loss today. So we've got um, a merchant ship, uh, a Cimarron oiler for 7,000 tons, uh, an S1 merchant for 1,100, a large oil tanker for 9,500, a troop ship merchant for 13,529. Okay. The Rural Pindi Merchant. I thought it was a Rural Pindi. 16,738 tons. That's two we've got. Look. Was there only two in their class? I can't remember. Uh, large oiler for 9,500 tons. And we got the Bathurst, Bathurst Escort Corvette for 735 tons. So the enemy has lost 61 tons now for 384,228 tons. Uh, 414 aircraft downed as well. So we're doing okay. So yeah, the plan of action is more merchant ships, start ferrying troops down here, maybe build up the airbase here and uh, and see what we can do. What we, We've got airbase-wise here. So level two and we've got uh, Mavises. Oh, the Mavises are back. <gasps> we've got the Mavises back. So we've got torpedo bombers from here. Nice. Okay, sweet. And Banjamasin. Oh, we can't because the Ans were launched, weren't they? So, okay, fair enough. Um, we'll have a check. We'll try and get Banjo Amasin upgraded. Uh, and then we can certainly fly patrols over there. We can probably fly the uh, the Oscars um, from here to cover any landing ships as well. So we could have that as well as the support from the aircraft carrier's own fighters. So, yeah, things are in a positive situation as long as we take advantage of what we've got. Uh, and we'll try and do that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you continue to enjoy War on the Sea, Centrifugal Offensive. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.